everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are gonna be doing a video that is a surprise to me. <laughs> and you're all like, how can it be a surprise to you? It's a surprise to me because one of my very kind subscribers, actually a couple of very kind subscribers sent me some things. Um, but today we're gonna focus on the Hourglass Ambient Sculpture Palette and the Confession Refillable Lipstick Duo. This is the sculpture set that just came out. One of you out there incredibly kindly sent this to me and uh, said because I was on a no-buy that I wouldn't be able to pick it up and wanted to send it to me and it was incredibly nice. And uh, the person didn't want to necessarily be uh, mentioned on camera so I'm just gonna say thank you and you know who you are and thank you. <laughs> That's, that's really all I can say. Um, so I'm gonna compare the Sculpture palette, this new palette, to the other Hourglass palettes that I have. Um, and I'm gonna use the lipstick, which is the first time I'll ever be using an Hourglass lipstick. I'll be honest with you guys, Hourglass, although I like Hourglass and uh, I do have a couple of the palettes, I'm not an Hourglass collector. I don't get, you know, the, the palette every year. So I don't have as, um, an extensive hourglass collection as some folks, but uh, I do have some things that I can compare it to. So first though, I wanna do eyes really quickly. Um, I'm using, and I haven't used this before on camera, this is the Chantecai La Chrome Luxe Eye Duo in Grand Canal. And I picked this up in one of my many uh, Chantecai hauls. That's the um, the shades. And I'm gonna just do a quick and easy eye look, cause like I said, today is gonna be about hourglass. But I did want to use this on camera because I have not had a chance yet and I just thought this would be a good opportunity. So let's take this um, dark gray shade here. I'm going in with the Sonia G Classic Crease. Have you guys picked up the new Sonia G Buffer Brush? I of course have not because I'm on an Obi. Um, but if it's still available, maybe when uh, I'm done with this Nobi in October, not that much longer to go. <laughs> I will pick it up. I'm just going and putting this in the crease, but I'm not being particularly careful. As you can see, this is an incredibly pigmented shade. All of the Lux, uh, Chrome Lux Duo shadows are pigmented and gorgeous and shiny. Tibet is probably my favorite, I think. Um, but I mean, I love, I love all of them. I think I have every one except the, like, um, there's one that's like a pinky purple. I don't have that one, but I have the others. I will say, I wish Chantecaille would come out with more of them. I would definitely buy any new shades they came out with in this formula. If you're looking for an easy, foolproof look, this is pretty much it because the shades blend really beautifully. You only have two shades to choose from. They come in pretty universally flattering shades. Um, I really, as I've said a million times, I really like them. I'm gonna go with the Chikahoto F05. This is just a flat, like simple brush, but it pretty much, you can put it, you know, use it to like all over the lid. And I'm gonna go in with this lighter taupey shade. And if you wanted a more um, pigmented look, I would use your fingers and I'll show you how that looks after I do this as just like a wash. You can see though how pigmented these are and how shiny. I thought they'd be perfect with the, uh, with the shininess of the, of the hourglass, but I'll go with my finger with this uh, lighter shade and just place it so you can kind of see the intensity of that. So that is the Grand Canal. Let me put on some mascara and then we'll get to the hourglass. Okay, so eyes are done, mascara is on. Now I don't have any bronzer on, I don't have any blush on, I don't have anything on my face other than foundation because I wanted us to go through the palette and talk about it and put it on my face without having anything else compete with it. So this is the new one. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture and it'll stay clean for about five seconds because they, so the minute you touch them, your fingerprints, it's destroyed. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost and this is in the, the ghost packaging with like the um, clear on the sides. And then this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Unlocked. Again, there's, it's already filthy. I, I'm doing my best guys, but the minute you touch it, it just, you know. So 
Um, the Ghost, this one, has finishing powder in dim light, finishing powder in diffuse light, strobe powder in iridescent strobe light, bronzer in eternal bronze light, strobe blush in iridescent rose, and blush in sublime flush. So this, this is the Ghost. Then the Ghost Unlocked has finishing powder in soft light, finishing powder in filtered light, so those are different finishing powders in each one of those. Bronzer in golden bronze light, again, um, different than the eternal bronze light in the Ghost. Um, blush in nude glow, blush in mood flush, and the other one just had blush in sublime flush, and it had a strobe blush in iridescent rose, and then a metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. The names get very uh, after a while. And I, I'm gonna swatch them so you can see them, but let's just go through it really quickly. Now, in the Sculpture palette, you have Finishing Powder in Dim Light, which is in The Ghost. You have Finishing Powder in Diffuse Light, which is also in The Ghost. You have Strobe Powder in Glistening Strobe Light, which I'm just double checking. I think it's not in any of them, but I'm making sure. Okay, so it's not in any of them. So that one's new. Um, bronzer in Natural Bronze Light. That's not in either one. Strobe blush in Vibrant Flush, which is not in either one. And blush in Mood Exposure, which is not in either one. And so in the Sculpture palette, you have the Finishing Powder in Dim Light, which is in, one, is in the Ghost. The Finishing Powder in Diffuse Light, which is in the Ghost. You have the Strobe Powder in Glistening Strobe Light, which is a new shade. You have Bronzer in Natural Bronze Light, which is new. You have strobe blush in vibrant flush, which is new. And then you have blush in mood exposure, which is an old shade, but it's not in the ghost or the ghost unlocked palette. Okay, so, and I'll show you that one. So this is the new one. So if I hold it up against the ghost, as I said, the finishing powders are the same. They're the dim light and the diffused light. So those first two over here, first two. Just like, this blush in mood exposure is old, but I don't have it. So I actually only have two of the shades that are in this palette. So for me, um, it's actually, you know, a pretty, a pretty good deal. Those of you who, um, you know, collect Hourglass and have like everything Hourglass has ever come up with, maybe it's not as, as much of a, uh, a deal for you. The uh, quad is, is all existing shades. That's my understanding. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch like each one of these. I will start with the Ghost and then we'll do the Ghost Unlocked and then we'll do the Sculpture. All right, so the first, I'm gonna do the finishing powders in Dim Light and Diffused Light. How well these are gonna show up on me is anyone's question because I am so pale. So that's dim light and <laughs> diffused light. I know you really can't see it. Uh, that's the problem with highlights. The third one, or powders, is strobe powder in iridescent strobe light. You really can't see anything. I think the bronzers and blushers you'll see a little bit better. The fourth is a bronzer in eternal bronze light. You can see that a little bit better than the, the other ones. Um, strobe blush in iridescent rose. And the strobe lights, the strobe blushes are the ones that have like the, the marbling. And then blush in sublime flush. Okay, so that's Ghost. All right, now we're gonna go to Ghost Unlocked. And the finishing powders in this one are soft light and filtered light. I'll try to put them on top here. Soft light and filtered light. 
I know you really can't see them, guys. I'm sorry, but my skin tone is just so pale. Uh, the bronzer is Golden Bronze Light. You can see that one is deeper than the bronzer in The Ghost. Then Blush in Nude Glow. That's the Ghost Unlocked, that's the Ghost. Um, blush in Mood Flush. It's a shade I do not use very often. And then a metallic strobe powder in Champagne Strobe Light. Very blingy. Okay, now we're gonna move to the new palette. The first two are the same as these two that you can't see on my arm. <laughs> they are the um, they are the finishing powders in Dim Light and Diffuse Light. Then we have the strobe powder in Glistening Strobe Light. You really can't see. We have the bronzer in natural bronze light. Wow, that's deep. That will be deep on me. We've got the strobe blush in a vibrant flush. It's like kind of a peachy shade. And we've got the blush in mood exposure, which again is an existing blush, but I don't have it. Oh, I like that. So you've got the ghost unlocked, the ghost, the sculpture. So two of the shades are the same in the ghost, so obviously there's similarities. But I'd also say if you look at these two up against each other, um, you know, they're very similar. There's not, I mean, I don't think it's drastically different. Um, you saw the swatches on my hand. I didn't think that was drastically different either. So, okay, so let's go ahead and use the palette. Let's dig in and see how it works on someone with uh, fairly pale skin. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay, let's use the bronze first because there's only one bronzer. So let's do that. And the bronzer is natural bronze light. That's the bronzer. So we're gonna use that all over the face. One of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of these palettes, not that I don't like the powders, I think that all the powders are good. I tend to use like a very, this is my Tom Ford bronzer brush, so it's like a big fluffy brush. Getting it in the little part of the palette without picking up anything else is actually kind of annoying for me. Um, so I just like bronzer by itself. But again, that's just me, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Um, you know, it's a little deep for me, but it's not bad. I mean, I am wearing the Hourglass Veil Primer today. I don't usually use a primer, but I felt like for the purposes of, of trying this out, I should, I should wear it. I know for some people, it's kind of like their Holy Grail primer. Um, Again, I just don't usually use primers. So there's the bronzer on. I, I actually like the way it looks. I think the bronzer formula, the powders that they have, actually all their formulas are really beautiful. I think it looks really nice on the skin. Um, it is a little deep for me, but because I use a big fluffy brush, I don't think it's an issue. I think if you went in with a very dense, smaller brush on a pale skinned person, I think I think it would be too much, but I think, I think that looks nice. I think that looks actually very pretty and I think it has a nice glow to it. I think it looks actually very pretty on. I'm kind of surprised because I thought it was gonna be too, way too deep, but I think it looks nice. Okay, next we will use, um, let's do blush. I'm just trying to decide which blush. Let's use the new one. Since some of you probably have this old one, not old, but you know, they have this one. This one is brand new. So it's a strobe blush in vibrant flush. So let's use that one. I'm using my classic cheek Sonia G. Let's see how pigmented. Let's be careful. Yeah, that's definitely a strobe blush. Yeah, it looks nice. I I like Hourglass. It's not that I don't like. It's 
It's not like I don't like it. It's, I just don't particularly love the six pans where I have to dip the brush in and it gets on the other shades. I just, I don't know, for me, for me, I find it annoying. Uh, again, I get it. You have everything in one. It's good to travel with. In fact, I traveled with the um, Ghost Unlocked a lot, which was great. Um, but for me sitting here, I'd rather have my separate things. But again, that's just me. Nothing against the formula because the formula is excellent. Okay, um, so let's do highlight. Um, let's use the glistening strobe light. Let's see, which one is that one? Strobe powder in glistening strobe light. That's this one, which is also new. I'm trying to just use the new shades if I can. Um, so this one here. Nothing wrong with the old shades. Just, you know, I know you guys have seen them. Shiny. I like it. Okay. And then let's take the, um, the finishing powder. I'm going to do diffused. Uh, I'm going to go in with my Sonia G face one, which is very much like her new buffer brush, by the way, guys. Um, so it's this one here. The second one is the diffuse light. Like I said, this one exists in the ghost palette, but there's not a new finishing powder. So, and I'm just gonna go in and stamp it on and then use this to buff. I think it looks really nice. <laughs> I don't want to love it. Look, again, I like Hourglass very much and I think their formulas are excellent and I enjoy their palettes. I just feel like they come out every year with a palette looks that looks very similar to last year or previous iterations of whatever they put out. Like I said, this particular new palette only has three new shades in it. I didn't have the uh, Mood Exposure blush, so I, I got four new shades. But I feel like for the amount of money that you're spending, I got this as a gift, so I, I'm certainly not complaining. But um, if you went out and spent the money on it, everything should be new, right? I mean, it should be an entirely new palette. Their formula is beautiful. Their powder is gorgeous. Their bronzer looks great. The highlighter is stunning. Uh, I love the blush. In fact, this blush is really pretty. I actually like it, this straw blush. So I feel like, you know, there's, I, I have nothing to complain about in regards to the product. I just feel like they, Hourglass could be a little bit more inventive um, in what they're doing. Don't change the formulas, just come out with new shades. So if you're not totally confused by now, what I would say is this. Check the names on the back of the packaging and you will find for most of them, there are, there are duplicates in different packages. The, the sculpture one that just came out, again, thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm, I love it and I'm very excited to have it. Only has three new shades in it. Four that were new to me because I don't have that blush. The Ghost, the Ghost Unlocked, I love both of those. I use them all the time. I think they're great. Again, I love the formula. I love Hourglass. I just feel like, you know, I just feel like the next six pan that comes out, it would be great if all the new, if all the shades were new. That's all I'm saying. Okay, enough about that. So let's try the Refillable Lipstick Duo. Like I said, I've never used Hourglass lips. Ever. So maybe this will be my my new favorite thing. So this is in shades at dawn and at dusk. At dusk is the reddish shade. Yeah, the reddish shade. Ooh, that's pretty. It's at dusk. Formula feels nice too. Okay. And then at dawn is currently in the refillable case. If you haven't seen this, case just comes like that comes apart, which is nice. That's, that's kind of cool. Snaps back in. Ooh, I like this. And at dawn. I'm going to wear at dawn today. That went on really easily. I love the shape of this. I didn't use any lip liner. I just put it on directly as you guys saw. And the shape is perfect, at least for the shape of my, and the size of my lips. This is great. I love this color. Feels nice. Uh, let's see what it says about the product. Um, 
Set includes one filled applicator and one lipstick refill, limited edition shades, at dawn, at dusk. I'm gonna have to learn more about these lipsticks because that actually feels really nice. Uh-oh, guys. I can't have another line of, of lipsticks that I really enjoy. I mean, I have so many as it is, but that feels really nice on and I really liked the way that I, you know, was able to put it on so easily because of the size and the shape of it. Great. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I should be more excited because somebody gifted me something that I love, which is awesome, but I don't even know how much these are. I'll put price points down below. Oh no, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to check out the other shades because that I really like. I think it looks, I think it looks nice. It feels good, feels creamy, nice coverage, easy application. Well, this is just, it's just a disaster. Um, all right, so final thoughts. Love the lipstick. I haven't tried the red shade yet, but I'll definitely try it out in the future. The Sculpture palette is as good as all the other palettes. When I, when I say, you know, Hourglass could come up with um, new shades in the next year, the next collection, I think um, there could be some deeper shades. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy being able to use all the shades in this palette and all the shades in the Ghost palette and the Ghost Unlock palette. I am extremely pale and a lot of times, you know, some very, uh, very pigmented blushes or bronzers I cannot use because they're, they're too deep for me. But I feel like I haven't seen anything from Hourglass for folks on the deeper skin tone end of things. Maybe I missed it. Um, so I think that might be something to consider, but um, formula works really well. I, I really like it. I think it looks really nice on my skin. It looks very diffused, very pretty. So thank you again so much uh, to the person who sent this to me. Incredibly kind, seriously. So thank you. Um, okay, well that's it for today, guys. I know everyone's interested in the thousand subscriber giveaway. I have almost everything here yet now. I think there's like one or two things I'm waiting for. Uh, and then I will post a picture of it and talk about, you know, when I'm gonna be doing the giveaway and all that good stuff. I was thinking about doing it live, like live live. I don't know though. <laughs> I've never done a live, so I'm not sure. Um, you know, let me know in the feedback uh, what you think. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, if not, maybe I'll do it in a premiere or maybe I'll just do it in a regular video. I haven't decided yet. So uh, anyway, <laughs> it'll be up soon. Thank you so much for joining me today because I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit like.